One day in the year 2009, I woke up in the morning to get my employees to do the work we needed to do for the day, and as is my custom, I excused myself at midday to go and read. I brought out this book and right there I was reading something like, In the business world, you can't predict tomorrow. Anything can happen anytime. And you can lose your business when you least expect. The best way to run a business is to be strong and be willing to bounce back after every failure. That very day, my employees stole away my money and equipment. And since I only had a little struggling business, that business crashed. But I wasn't worried. I smiled, ate and slept. Not because I was so courageous or knew how to start again, but because I had earlier received the prophecy from the book I read in the morning. Most times, all you need to overcome a terrible crisis is just a few words or stories of other people. And that's why in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the seven books I recommend you to read if you're going through any difficult period right now. 1. Tough Times Never Last, But Tough People Do by Robert Schuller. I read this book probably a decade ago. Though it's difficult for me to estimate how much this book influenced the way I see life, I suspect this is one of the books that made me strong. This book contains several stories of human persistence and determination. Reading this book will show you how much power even the weakest amongst us have. Knowing what other average people have gone through and how they overcame several odds will help you to believe in yourself again. You'll be determined to go through whatever crisis with your head up and you'll win. 2. Man's Search for Meaning Man's Search for Meaning details Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl's horrifying experiences in Nazi concentration camps along with his psychological approach of logotherapy which is also what helped him survive and shows you how you can and must find meaning in your life. Essentially, this book teaches and proves that finding the reason to live for is the most critical thing to do while living, especially during difficult times. The author went through one of the most challenging situations and saw others go through it. Many people lost their lives and many survived. What Victor discovered, however, is that people who survived crisis are usually those who have strong reasons to be alive. Purpose, a mission, calling or calling meaning for life. Now, if you're going through a difficult time, you have to remind yourself very often about your reason for being alive, your mission, and why you must overcome the present obstacle. Those reasons don't have to be complex. When Steve Jobs had cancer, he desired to see his child graduate in high school, and that was a reason to live longer. And yes, he lived to see his child graduate before he died. Your reason may be to give back to your society, your mother, or write a book that will help humanity. 3. The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday After 2,000 years ago, Marcus Aurelius wrote in his private diary, the impediment to action advances actions. What stands in the way becomes the way. This idea from Marcus Aurelius that every obstacle presents an opportunity for growth is what the obstacle is the way is based on. Accepting challenging situations is the only way to overcome them. Making whatever is on the way, the way is the only way to advance. Life is filled with several obstacles. What most people do is to wait until those obstacles vanish. Unfortunately, they rarely ever disappear. What you should do is to advance, regardless of the roadblocks. Let whatever stands on your way become the way. Or, Failing Forward by John C. Maxwell. This book doesn't just encourage you to go through a difficult time. It makes you feel that you need the difficult times. The feeling I had when I read this book many years ago was that failures and obstacles aren't human enemies. They do to us what fire does to gold. They make us better. While you may not understand how whatever you are going through now will make you a better person, you have to believe that somehow you will be stronger, better, and richer at the end of the tunnel. 5. The Alchemist Alchemist tells the story of a young shepherd named Santiago who is able to find a treasure beyond his wildest dreams. Along the way, he learns to listen to his heart and more importantly, realizes that his dreams or his personal legend are not just his but part of the soul of the universe. Santiago was a hero who had to face several obstacles and setbacks, but he would never give up until he achieved his dreams. This book teaches vision, passion, dreams, and commitment. 6. How to be Rich by Paul J. Getty The story I used to start this video is the story of this book. This is the book I read the day my business failed in 2009. While this is a business book written long ago by a billionaire, you might have some inspiration about life and business during the tough times from this book. The author himself went through many difficulties and he shared some strategies he used to overcome those tough times. 7. Biography of Nelson Mandela Close your mind and think about a man who spent 27 years in prison and yet still believed in his vision. 
That is crazy. You stay 27 years behind the bar doesn't break you. Nothing else can. I've not read this biography myself, but I've selected it as one of the books I'd be reading very soon. Again, the simple strategy I use to overcome tough times is to read about people who have overcome tougher situations in the past. The story of these people don't only give me hope, they give me the courage to believe in myself. And that's what I hope these seven books do for you.